They heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost, meaning his spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay people talking that now he's dead and buried for three days. All that knowledge was from hearsay people talking. Because Mark chapter 14 verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking the brown Englishman and the white Englishman, Sir, does all mean all in your language? Hmm? Does all, does it mean all in your language? Of course, all means all. <laughs> all means all. So, they were not there. They were not eyewitnesses or your witnesses to the happening. They all had forsook him. That's what the Mark tells, unless he's lying. You tell me he was a lying. His Holy Ghost had deceived him too. He said, all his disciples forsook him and fled. So they were not eyewitnesses or your witness to the happenings. So they had heard that man is dead and buried. They expect him to be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. You see, he must be a ghost, a spook. So Jesus wants to assure them that is not what they are thinking. So he said, Unzuru ila yadayya Behold my hands and my feet. Inni ana huwa, that it is I myself. Khusuni wanzuru, he said, handle me and see. For inna ruha laysa lahu lahmun wa izamun. For the spirit has no flesh and bones as you see me have. So again I'm talking, my dear brother, you Arab Christian and you English Christians, I said, if I said, look, because I got flesh and bones, I'm not a spirit, I'm not a ghost, I'm not a spook, is that what it means in your language? If I got flesh and bones, in that case, I'm not a spirit, I'm not a ghost, I'm not a spook. Is that what it means in your language? Of course it does. If you got flesh and bones, you're not a spirit, you're not a ghost, you're not a spook. Anybody. If you got this, then you're not that. In other words, he's telling you that the body that you're seeing is not a translated body, it is not a metamorphosed body, it is not a resurrected body. Because the resurrected bodies get spiritualized. You want to know who says so? I said, you're Paul. You say, who says so? I say, you're Jesus. You want reference? I give them to you. Come, can bring your bishops and your archbishops to come and have a dialogue with me. In, in, in Sydney, I come again by God at my own expense, I will come. Get me a bishop or an archbishop and we have a symposium, not a debate, a symposium. Present your case and let me present our case and let the people go and make the choice. So, he said, handle me and see. Tengokla, tanganku, dan kakiku, inila aku sendiri, jamahla aku dan lihatla, karena hantu tiada berdaging dan tulang, seperti yang kamu lihat ada padaku. So they felt him. I'm reading. I'm reading your Bible. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. It means they were overjoyed and wondered. So what happened, man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, Have you got here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb. And he took it and he ate in the very side to prove what? There is a ghost. Is that how you prove you are a ghost? You are a spook? Huh? You are eating broiled fish and honeycomb. They are feeling you. And they say, no. They wonder. They say, man, I thought the man was dead. He's alive. Hooray. He's alive. And eating broiled fish and honeycomb to prove what? He's a ghost. He's a spook. Man, every verse I can quote you from the Bible. I said, every verse you have misunderstood, my brothers. You Englishmen, you brown Englishmen, and you white Englishmen, whether you call yourself American, you speak English, you are an Englishman. And I want to say, come, talk to me in English. Talk to me in English. And I show you that each and every verse you have misunderstood. Every verse you have misunderstood, my son. Okay, my son. Thank you, my son. Yes, my son. This is a multilingual service, so if I may, I'll spice things up a bit. Um, I'm of Greek origin, and the Greek word for Easter is the word Pascha, and that means Passover. And that's quite appropriate for Easter, because like 
the land that was sacrificed in Egypt, which the Israelites sprayed on the door of their houses to deliver them from Egypt. So Jesus, when he died, the blood which he shed delivered them from deliver, can deliver us from slavery under sin. So, and if this isn't the only Old Testament reference which Jesus uses to say that he will die and rise again from the dead. If I may quote from Isaiah 53, um, Isaiah the prophet says, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life a guilt offering, he will see his offspring and prolong his days. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Now, I've quoted three verses there. They're not um, consecutive. Um, you may read the whole chapter if you like. But I just thought that these verses illustrate that Jesus would die as a sacrifice for sin and that um, not only um, die, but rise again for life, uh, rise again in life. So my question is, why don't you encourage people to read the Bible for themselves rather than emphasising your own books? My son, what you're doing is, you're also suggesting to me what I read and how I should understand. See, you're doing to me. And every Christian, when you come and knock at my door, you want me to see the Bible the way you see it. If you got blinkers on, you also want me to put blinkers on to see. That's what you do. That is what you are trying to do to me. So you see, at the outset I said that there are 300 prophecies were fulfilled. But I said the whale, the whale that got away, that whale came from the mouth of Jesus. Jesus spoke about Jonah and the whale. That miracle you, he didn't fulfill. Now man, you bring a thousand prophecies to, to say it was justified, justified. I said the one that Jesus gave himself